Hello, what's up everybody? I'm James Romero and this is Switch Watch. With so many Nintendo eShop games available, there's always a bargain to be had. But with so many out there, it can be hard to figure out which ones are worth you picking up. In this monthly series, we take a look at the top five Nintendo Switch eShop bargains. This is November's episode, let's jump in and take a look. First up, it's Rhythm Platformer Runner 3. Jordan reviewed this one back in May, and at that time it was $29.99 in the US, and it's now got a huge 66% off, and it's $9.99 in the US and just £8 in the UK. Jordan really enjoyed the auto runner here because it's all about keeping in time with the beat, but what let it down was the value. We still gave it an 8 out of 10, so now at this price, it's certainly worth considering a game. As with all of the games we're going to cover here, we'll pop a link up at the top right hand of the screen and down below in the description of our original review if you want to go and look further into these games. It's been a year since Rocket League first came out and Juan reviewed this one back then. It was originally $19.99 and now it's on sale at $11.99 so there's a hefty 40% off. This is one of the most fun action-packed multiplayer games available on the Switch still to this day with a very healthy player base. What I love about this one is that it takes you a while to get used to but once you do you really do feel that sense of achievement. Back in August last year, I reviewed Infinite Mini Golf. It came out originally at $14.99. It now has over 60% off and it's just $5.99 in the US and £5.39 in the UK. What I really loved about this one is the amount of replayability. You upload your courses and share them with others worldwide. So there's lots of customization. It's the pseudo sequel to Planet Golf and I gave it a very solid seven out of 10. Without many more golf options since, it's definitely worth looking at game. Next up we have Bleed. This twin stick shooter was originally reviewed by Juan back in December last year and it came out at $11.99. It's now on sale at just $3.59 representing a huge 70% saving. This one is really good to play on the move. Now quick note this one is only on sale in the US so if you are outside of that territory you can actually go ahead and download it from that store and I do recommend you do so. We originally gave this one a 7.5 out of 10 and it's definitely worth considering a game. Next up is another game by Digirati. This time it's Slain Back From Hell, originally reviewed by Juan back in December last year. This game came out at $19.99. It now has a huge 75% off and it's just $4.99 in the US. Like Bleed, this one is not on sale in the UK, so go ahead and get this one from the US store if you want to take a look. Now this game was only 46 hours, so one of the downsides was indeed the cost, but it's really hard and it's punishing, and actually you can get quite a lot of replayability out of this Castlevania inspired title. I know that Juan certainly went back and played this one long after he'd published his review. Now these are the top five sales currently on in November based on the score, but also how much discount they have and we take both things into consideration. But these aren't the only ones that are worth considering again. So just to give you a quick summary of some of the other ones out there, Streets of Red was a game that we gave an eight out of 10 to when it came in at $9.99. It's now got 25% off roughly and it's $6.29. That game's really good and worth looking at. Another one is Lich Spear, which I reviewed and that was $9.99 and I gave it a 7.5 out of 10. Now it's on 50% sale and it's actually just $4.99. Another one is Butcher, which Juan reviewed at $9.99 and we gave that one a 7 out of 10 it's now just $4.99 as you can see there are definitely a lot of bargains to be had let us know your thoughts have you picked up any of these games either before or are you gonna do so now at the other end of the bargain scale are Nintendo's own IP which we know are expensive now this month's seen a big big release in Pokemon let's go Jordan's reviewed that one and that's coming up next if you want to check it out then do click on the video appearing on your screen now and we'll see you over there.